Hey and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I am talking through some new in pieces in my wardrobe over the last couple of months and how I managed to get all these pieces basically for free. So I did a bit of a declutter recently. I have posted a recent video and since then I've done another declutter and I decided just to get rid of a lot of things in my wardrobe that I didn't feel were serving me, that didn't really spark much joy anymore and that I wasn't really getting much wear out of or you know kind of I didn't find myself reaching for when I was getting dressed, whether that was during the week for work or for a loungewear day or even at weekends for something a little bit dressier. So I did a big declutter and I listed loads of items on Vinted and I sold a bunch of items. There's still some up there if you're interested. I'll leave my Vinted profile link below. But basically I just sold a ton of things and I decided I'm going to sell all this stuff and I'm going to put that money back into new items in my wardrobe or, you know, keep it for something else. Um, but mainly I kind of put it back into new items in my wardrobe that I hopefully will reach for. So I have quite a few items to show you from the last two months. And I know that doesn't follow the one item a month rule, but as I basically just exchanged them for other items, I figured as far as I'm concerned, I don't mind that I have acquired quite a few new items. Some things I even bought and then within kind of days knew that it wasn't right for me. So I've already resold it on Vinted. So I've been doing a lot of buying and selling at the same time. So I'm going to start with my most recent purchase and work my way back from there because I feel like that's what's freshest in my mind. So the newest piece is this uh, gorgeous beige bag from Carvella. This I found on Vinted for £8. It was basically new. This long strap was still packaged inside it with the kind of plastic wrap still on it. So it hadn't been used at all really. So basically a brand new bag and I absolutely love it. Um, I kind of just wanted something a bit more chic and a bit more grown up and sophisticated to go along with the rest of my wardrobe. I don't have a structured handbag and I, I tend to mention a lot that I only have like two or three handbags. So I didn't have anything structured. I didn't have anything of this size. Um, and I didn't really have anything that fit much in. Like I want to be able to fit a book in my bag and carry it around with me. And I like that this had a long strap and kind of a short a carry handle as well. Um, I just love the colour of it. I love the kind of tone of the beige. I brought this out with me last night on date night and it was great. I even managed to fit some spare shoes in it in case I change from my like four inch heels. Um, luckily I didn't need to but it has a lot of room in this bag but it's not too big at the same time. So it was eight pounds and the prices I mentioned are kind of more like the price of the item and then the vintage fee is usually like 10% or something and then the shipping is on top of that so all in all I think that might have cost me about 12 or 13 pounds. The next most recent item is a pair of brown kind of like a beigey brown flares it's gonna kind of throw off the lighting a little bit but I don't know if you can tell they're a real kind of like cool brown color not really something that I wear a lot of I thought they were a warmer brown when I ordered them um, so the tags are still on, I haven't worn them, I just tried them on once. So these again are going to be kind of like a, I need to try it with the rest of my wardrobe kind of thing. Because if it doesn't go with my warmer tones, then it might not go with that many outfits. They're a nice trouser, it's just if they were a slightly warmer brown colour. Sorry, this lighting today is crazy. I think it's because I'm, I'm filming in front of the mirror or the window. Let me just see if I can like switch things around a little bit. Okay, I think that's a bit better, even though I kind of prefer the other background. The lighting shouldn't change as much here. Um, but yeah, you can kind of see the colour of these a bit better. So originally, they don't have a price on, but they are from H&M and they're 70%, 77% recycled polyester, which is nice. But I paid... I paid £5 for the flares and then I think it was about nine pounds altogether at 8.95 with like shipping and everything so um yeah not bad but i i'm just not sure if i'll keep them the next thing i actually got i don't have here i have in the wash but i'll pop in a photo um well they're just black stirrup leggings um i don't really have any black leggings at the moment i think this is something i get every winter because i wear i get like one pair and then i wear them to death that winter um but I just find black leggings so comfy and so cozy for wearing like big oversized jumpers. And this time around, I kind of got it into my head that I want to get the ones with the stirrup bottom. 
um, because I have a pair of slingback shoes that I'd really like to wear, but they tend to slip off my feet. So I thought, um, and I actually tried it the other day, that if I was to wear the stirrups underneath the shoe, that it would keep it on my foot. I kind of did. So I wore that into work and just walking around the office, they seemed absolutely fine. Yeah, it kind of only really works with a heel because obviously with a flat, you would completely ruin the bottom of your leggings. But yeah, it was it was an easy way to kind of keep my shoes on, to just to really pull up my leggings, keep it tight. Um, so yeah, and you know, if I was to wear them with socks and boots then they're just a normal pair of black leggings. They cost me two pound and then with shipping and delivery was 4 A few other pieces that I ordered on Vinted, unfortunately, um, I think one thing just got lost um, and then another item just didn't get posted or she couldn't find them or something. Um, so that was disappointing because they were kind of real key pieces for my autumn winter wardrobe, I think. One was a pair of kind of these, um, kind of like a zebra print loafer, which I thought would have been a really cool addition to just have that little hint of print in some of my outfits. And I do really like a loafer as well at this time of year. It's kind of like a, a flat that covers a bit more of your foot, so not as cold as with ballet flats or something. Um, and another thing was just kind of like a square neck long sleeve camel top, which I thought just would have been handy as we transition into like, you know, we're not wearing t-shirts, but we're not quite wearing like the warmest jumpers. I just thought a long sleeve top would be nice for that kind of in between bit, but it got lost or something. The next thing I actually bought, again, counting backwards, was a two piece suit. It was like a waistcoat and wide leg trousers in this kind of like creamy color. Um, I thought it was gonna be a bit more ivory. It was a bit more like yellowy cream when I got them. And I did a real, a reel or like a little video with these um just to see like what I thought of them how I'd style them and see what you guys saw of them as well and I think it was like 50 50 um some of you said keep them and some of you just said to like resell them but I ended up reselling them just because I have a very similar pair of trousers already that I had actually already gone to the trouble of hemming so they're like the perfect length and they're in a slightly nicer color they're just a little less yellowy cream they're a bit more ivory um, and then the waistcoat, it, just, it wasn't really working for me. It was a bit a bit too tailored, a bit too androgynous for my style. Um, so I wasn't gonna keep one without the other, so I just got rid of both. Next thing I got is another pair of shoes. And these are a little sling back as well. That's the kind of ones I was mentioning earlier that don't stand my feet. But the great thing about this, I think, is the fact that the strap comes up and around the foot. And it just keeps it on a little bit better. Whereas the one I have, it kind of comes up and then kind of comes up around like this and stops here it doesn't come the whole way down the side so I feel like that just keeps it on a bit better um unfortunately like I'm pretty sure they were perfect when I got them but as soon as I went to put it on I just kind of pulled the strap and it cracked so all this elastic is now not stretchy um but it is on the inside I can still wear them it's just that it doesn't have that stretch anymore um but I really like the heel I love this kind of squared heel um, really nice height. I have, I wore them out to the post office as I do when I want to try a new pair of shoes. I just go on like my shortest journey possible, um, which is usually the post office. It's going to send some vintage parcels, but I really like them. I think they're a really classic shoe. I think this, what did I wear them with? I think a pair of jeans and a jumper and a nice coat, which is a very simple but classic look. And that's kind of my, trying to elevate my, um, my style uniform. I still like a jumper and jeans, but maybe with a little classier shoe. Let me see how much these were. So these I paid 450 and then with delivery was 832. So it's a pretty good bargain. I'm pretty sure they were totally unworn as well. So this is just after one wear for me. And these are originally Marks Spencer's as well. So really kind of like classic and sophisticated. Okay, something I just got in the post yesterday, even though I obviously ordered them a while ago, um, but it's these two tops. I bought them together from the same seller. So they're just this like mango ribbed t-shirt top with a slightly longer sleeve, so more like an elbow length sleeve. Really nice um, ribbed detailing. And yeah, I just thought they'd be kind of handy as like more of like a dressy t-shirt, I guess. Um, and I really like the, this kind of scoop neck. I think it's really nice. And great to have a neckline like that when you want to start layering under jumpers because sometimes if your t-shirt neck is too high you can kind of see through it um so I really like those I just thought they'd be nice with jeans and a, a wide leg trouser so I got the black and the kind of off-white um and that together was four pounds and then with delivery was probably like 
I want to say, hmm, it says 548 altogether, so maybe it was even less. Okay, I got them for 250 for the two t-shirts, so that was really good. So yeah, like five pounds all in. And they're just really good, like, staple pieces. And I think that's the key with all of these items I'm showing you. They're all, like, real neutral colours, quite staple pieces, quite timeless as well. Um, like, these shoes, I don't know, were they from M&S 10 years ago or M&S this year? You know, I feel like it could have been either. They could have been out in the 90s or they could be just coming back now. Um, and same with those t-shirts, same with the bag. All pretty um classic and timeless and that is exactly the look i'm going for right now okay the bit i'm most excited about the piece i'm most excited about is this pair of jimmy choo flats and yes i also pretty much got these for free because i sold well not because i sold my jimmy choo heels i did sell my jimmy choo heels and the money for those hasn't actually gone into my vintage account just yet but i decided i was going to sell those and i'm going to get a different pair of shoes that were maybe easier to wear because those ones didn't stay on my feet. So I got a pair of flats instead. Um, and I just love, let me show you just one of them. I just love the detail on the top, this kind of knotted detail. So, so nice. I love the little sling back. The sling back is still quite um, stiff and the elastic is quite kind of sturdy. Um, they were totally unworn. I paid 50 pounds for these. I think it was about 55 with delivery. But totally unworn. Um, I've worn them once myself now. So it was amazing to get a brand new, basically brand new pair of Jimmy Choo's for £50. And this is what I love about Vinted. And apologies if you can hear my washing machine now, but I'm trying to have a super productive day and get all my washing done. Um, but yeah, absolutely love these. I've worn them once around the office for work and then once to Tesco, I think, just to kind of try them out and break them in slowly because I'm just not really used to wearing slingbacks all the time, so they do rub a little bit. But I'm really happy with them. Absolutely love getting kind of quality pieces like this. Again, really timeless style, perfect color. Um, a great color for like a winter flat as well, black. They're not gonna get too dirty from rain or anything like that, but oh, I just love these so much. And I've been really enjoying kind of, just changed up the dynamic of some of my more basic outfits, like I was mentioning, jumper and jeans, but with a shoe like that, it just looks so much more classic and so much more considered and yeah, really love them. Um, I, I know they're black and I don't have tons of black in my wardrobe anymore, but I do have quite a few kind of wintry like polo necks and jumpers in black and it just kind of helps to balance out like, you know, a black top with a black shoe that kind of balance the proportions of an outfit, I guess. Um. Next, I have this top. I'm not sure if I've shown you this one yet, but I'm pretty sure I'd ordered this um, in my last video. I don't know. Maybe I just hadn't come yet. But it's this lovely kind of cream off-white top from Zara. It's this kind of square neckline, a little bit of like corseting detail, and I'm just this kind of like under boob thing, which unfortunately for me is a little bit lower than my actual boob. So I don't really fill it out properly. So I'm, I'm still a bit torn between this top. I've worn it once to work and I was just not really sure if it fit right. Um, it could be why the seller sold it. Oh, I just hit off my guitar. Um, it could be why the seller, you know, kind of decided to get rid of it. I'm going to see. I'm going to try it again and just see if I can, with the right bra, maybe fill it out. Um, but yeah, it's it's really classy top. And I think I just wore it with, I actually would have wore it with a pair of wide leg um, trousers. And it looked really chic, just this whole kind of like cream white outfit yeah I really like it I just really like the neckline on me that kind of square neck um, it's just this the fit of right here that kind of annoys me and then I did mention trying to fill it out with a bra but if then you can see your bra straps because it's quite a wide neckline so it's just a bit of a tricky one so I'm not sure I haven't really worn it since that one time so maybe I'm now that it's a bit more awkward to wear I'm, I'm putting it off but we'll see if not, it'll be on my vintage. If you're bigger than like a 30C slash 28 double D, by all means, you can have this top. Um, yeah, I may relist it, we'll see. And then finally was the coat that I mentioned in my last, um, I think it was July and August purchases. And I said at the very beginning of September, I bought a full length wool coat when the weather hadn't changed, but finally got it in the post and yeah it is a big coat which is why I'm 
uh, really gradually picking it up. It's super long. It's almost full length, but it's just this lovely camel color. Um, it's from Wallace. It's a really nice kind of wool and cashmere blend. Um, and I paid £25 for this coat and I absolutely love it. And this is another one I shared on Instagram and asked you guys, should I get this amazing coat in the middle of, I mean, what was still just the end of summer really. And you guys said to go for it. So I did. And I have worn it a couple of times. Not too much because it's not really cold enough just yet. But sometimes when I'm like popping outside. The other night actually I was just popping out to post some vintage parcels. Surprise, surprise. And it was raining and I also still had my pyjama bottoms on. So this hid them perfectly because it is full length. Um, so that was really handy. And I don't know if you guys saw that. But I literally just burnt it off my candle. So that's annoying. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a really fab coat. So hopefully I can get that cleaned out. Let's see. Kind of smells like burning wool in here now. I hope this video has inspired you to do a bit of a clear out of your own wardrobe and see what you can get for free. I think I sold possibly almost £200 worth of stuff on Vinted. Um, and I've probably spent maybe about 150 maybe a little bit more at this stage. Um, but yeah, it's such it's such a fun process to just kind of go through your things, pull out some stuff that's not really, you know, your cup of tea anymore and replace it with something new. So if you don't have budget to buy new clothes for your wardrobe or you do, but you just don't really want to spend it or you want to just spend a little bit extra, um, it's nice to, to do that. Also, if you are saving up for Christmas, you want to go on a holiday, do a little declutter of your wardrobe and see what you can find because I'm sure if you found 10 items that you could sell for like a tenner each, you've got 100 quid in your pocket for your holiday or for whatever it is that you are saving for. So it's definitely well worth it. We have so much stuff, so much money in our wardrobes that if we're wearing it, amazing, great, keep it. But if you're not wearing it, see what else it could add value to. If you're not already a subscriber, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button hit the like button if you enjoyed it. I make loads of videos around building cups of wardrobe, living with less clothing, living happily with less clothing, um, but having loads of outfit options still. You know, versatile styling, how to style pieces in different ways. So if that sounds like something you wanna see more of, then please come join our little community over here. If you're not following me on Instagram as well, it's at Gemma A. McLean, and I always have that linked in the description box. So you can head over there and you'll see some of these pieces in action as well because I'm trying to post daily outfit posts, you know, those like overhead videos of um, of my outfits. Try my best to do one every single day. So you'll see these pieces and how I style them up. I hope you all have a really great rest of your day and I'll speak to you soon.